Hello, hello, it's Kevin here. Time for video number four of Cambridge 18. This is the uh, the task we're going to have a look at for today. I'll just quickly put my usual disclaimer, fair use, non-profit, etc, etc. You know the score. Okay, get that out of the way. So, as you may or may not know, we've been doing every Cambridge previous paper. We started at 17, 16, 15, 14, blah, blah, blah. We got down to number 8, then Cambridge 18 was published, so we're doing every task in Cambridge 18. We've done test 1, 2, 3, this is test number 4. Okay, so as usual, I've written one, I'll show you mine, explain why I wrote it the way that I did. And we've got five uh, responses from our Telegram group, IELTS 9 PRO. Okay, and... Uh, I made a couple of changes and I'll be making some comments on these five. Okay, though. So, let's have a look then. Now, as you know, we've got the usual four paragraph as a, a structure. Introduction, you simply paraphrase the topic, right? What's on the x-axis, what's on the y-axis? That's on the a sentence. Shouldn't take you more than a minute or two. The graph, the line graph. It illustrates, depicts changes per month in free metal prices, copper, nickel, zinc in 2014. Or something such as that, right? That's easy. Then an overview. Now, as we can see here, all three metals experience considerable fluctuation. But there's one outlier, one outstanding, which is nickel. So... As always, it's the key features. What's the biggest? What's the smallest? What can be grouped? What's the same? What's not the same? Yeah. Key features. Big picture. When you go into the details of paragraph uh, two, or sorry, three and four. Yeah. So we can see then that despite some fluctuations, there's a pretty similar pattern here, right? All three metals initially fall, recover, stabilize, and finish slightly higher at the end. That's basically all three metals, yeah? A fall, a stabilization, and a slight recovery. So how I organized mine, I did it from uh, January to June for paragraph number three, because that makes more sense, because that's when everything is falling, yeah? So you've got, that's paragraph number three, all information from January to June. And from June to December, that's where you've got the recovery, stabilization, and uh, final recovery at the end. Yeah, so pretty straightforward. Let's have a quick look. So the graph illustrates the average changes per month, blah, 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 well, like I said. Overall, all three metals experienced various degrees of fluctuation which is true with nickel, the largest, showing a significant drop in price. Despite the turmoil, copper recovered, so at the end, only a minimal loss, while there was a moderate increase for zinc. That's all that you really need. What's the big picture? You don't need to, you know, go into a lot of uh, detail there. I mean, look, mine's only 212 words, so, you know. So, in January, nickel... Higher than copper, so that's the starting point. Declined, reached the low point of June. Other metals, moderate rate of fluctuation. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, you can read that. I'm not going to read it all out. So, that's from January to June. Then, from June onwards, our three metals showed a similar pattern of stabilization, followed by a slight rise. Then, you've got figures and data copper, figures and data, zinc, figures and data. I thought that was a more logical way to organize this, yeah? Looking at the picture, I thought, okay, what's going to be, you know, the best uh, way? What makes more sense? That's why I split it into two, January to June, and then June to the end of the uh, year. That's basically why I did it in that way. And again, what's the biggest, what's the smallest, etc. So that's pretty straight, pretty straightforward. I think I'm not going to read it all out. I'll leave it there for you to have a, a look at. But you can see, right, it's got a clear introduction. It's got an overview. Clearly identifies those key uh, trends. 
then you've got a logical arrangement of information with the details and data. That's what you need. If you can do that, you'll get a very good score indeed. Now, um, let's go through these one by one, yeah? So I'm not going to call out every single change that which I made. You can see prepositions, articles, spelling, etc. Now, that overview doesn't really work, right? You can see it doesn't really say a lot. It doesn't clearly identify. It says, oh, these were first and last, and then they changed. But that's it. Well, no, that is a little bit more. Uh, so just if you the next two months, nickel, grass of copper, monthly figure for zinc. So this isn't too uh, bad, but yeah, this is 200 fairly words. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Now, you need to watch, and I, I see this, often people using adverbs and nouns, dramatic. <laughs> Not point, you know, minus 1% is dramatic. Minus 1% change. That's a dramatic change. Okay. So, um, again, prepositions, articles, etc. Okay, so, moving on. Uh, now, why do people keep saying it is worth mentioning? Well, of course it is, because that's what we want you to do. Not not just to, to mention, but to actually tell us. Tell us what you see. What's the figures? Yeah? So that aside, though, for, uh, it does kind of mention fluctuating changes overall. Right, so this is better in terms of an overview than the previous one, but still it doesn't quite capture all the main information. Vital metals, I took out that. I mean, it doesn't say they are a vital or non-vital. It just says three metals. So, was that six percent, two percent? Yeah, have been in right, right now. As again, I didn't change all it. Have been increased. Why was it? Why are you using present perfect passive? Have been increased. It's simply increased. Uh, using a passive increased by whom? And we can't use present perfect because we're not connecting past and present. All these, all this information is in the past. Yeah. So, oh, look, look, see, that was good. Continued to rise, it fell, remained, okay. An interesting point to consider. Oh, yeah, yeah, and as again, is 3% really incredible? You need to be careful how you describe these changes. Now, how does that work? So, it was a gradual decrease, but during this period, within that period, there were no changes. Now, I know what you mean, but how that was worded doesn't make sense, you know? 181 words. Could be a little bit longer. Next one. Uh, which metals? So, three random. Three random metals. Okay. Now, this one's better, right? Fluctuated considerably. That's good. The trend was downward. Zinc witnessed a slight rise. So, that's better in terms of an overview. Okay. Now, I think what they've done here is um, is nickel, 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 right? So they've gone through every single kind of month of nickel, which you don't really need. You don't need to go through every single kind of month, but that's not as bad as the one that's, uh, that we'll see in a, a moment. Anyway, so this isn't bad, right? This is probably the best one out of a bunch, okay? Um, now... Right, I didn't, I don't know if it's because this is how it was typed. Maybe you, you typed it like a phone, but you've got one sentence. This is like one sentence. So that's one sentence there. That's a single sentence. And I think that's a single sentence. So what you've got, like, there's only three sentences there. There's no, and you know, there's no capitalization. There's missing the capitals. There's no proper grouping of clauses, main clause, subordinate clause, it's just a single sentence. There's no punctuation. Look at it. That's just one sentence. So anyway, I didn't uh, bother changing that because I have to rewrite the entire paragraph. Um, this is the final one, I think. Okay. Now, what year? 2014. Don't forget to include it. 
fluctuating trend. Three months had a steady. So that part, yeah. Or that part, yeah. But what else? There's, there's, there is more, yeah. There's definitely more. Uh, now I think right now, yeah. This is the one I think uh, for nickel. That's it. That's all. That is for one metal. So you, I think it was so six uh, percent during the whole year. Next two months, same the following month, two consecutive months, then a new rising in July, then September, October. Too much detail. You don't need to list it all. Right? I mean, this is what, 284 words. That's a little bit much. Okay, so that's what this one's done. This was gone into too much detail, too much information here. Okay. So, like I say, uh, which did I say was probably the best out of the bunch? It was probably, was it this one? I think it was. Okay. So, not too bad, not too bad. Some of you need to work on a few bits and pieces. I'll just put mine there so you can see it at the end. Okay. So, I hope that helps. Um, I'll just put that up as again, so that's it. So, like I say, you need to, what's on the x-axis, what's on the y-axis, what's in the rubric. Look at the information. Like I say, it, it did seem logical to split this up into, you know, January, June, because that's when everything fell. And after that, everything kind of rose, stabilized and rose again. So that's basically why I did it in that way. So I hope that helps. So again, organization, you know, for your cohesion coherence score, you need to have a logical, sorry, a logical organization progression of information. So, I hope that helps. And I'll be posting a new task um, today. We'll be back to Cambridge 8. So, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.